This video is sponsored by PotownStore.com, the best place to get yourself some TCGO code cards. Looking for that last card to complete your online deck or just to get the latest booster packs in town like Crown Zenith, for example. They literally have everything and you can use the coupon code ZABDOSTCG for 5% of your order. This video is also sponsored by CardMarket.com. This is a European platform where you're able to buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. I personally use it every single day and you can use the referral name ZABDOSTCG to help support the channel. This video is also sponsored by YourPlayMat.com. This is a platform where you're able to upload your favorite wallpaper and they turn it into a beautiful playmat. You can now have 10% of your order by clicking the link down below and they ship worldwide, so definitely check it out. Last but certainly not least is going to be DragonShield.com. Dragon Shield is the best brand to protect your beautiful cards and they have the best quality sleeves available and uh, you can of course yeah, check it out by clicking the links down below. They have sleeves, binders and deck boxes of the best quality around. I use them in every single tournament and you guys should do the exact same thing. Thank you a lot for sticking around with the commercials and enjoy the video. Peace! What's up YouTube, it's Zapdos TCG here and welcome back to another TCG video on my channel. On this channel you get daily Pokemon TCG content so be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. We're going to be checking uh, the uh, regional results of uh, Perch all the way in Australia. That uh, happened uh, last weekend and uh, it's going to be having a deck list where we're going to be taking a look at because we are still in this crown Zenith, uh, Silver Tempest, Lugia dominating format but there are still some archetypes out there that are performing better than others. Uh, one of those is Lost Box. We've seen a whole uh, alteration of Lost Box throughout its existence and we're going to be checking out the first place winning list first with Derek Dao being able to get first with Lost Zone Box. If you guys are hyped for today's upload, let me know by rocking the hell out of the like button. Helps out a Many ways to support the channel and uh, we will we will bring more content than ever before because uh, yeah we already got our world's invite so we're gonna be focusing more on the content right now so we have uh, this lost zone box at first glance you think all oh, these different energies is this a Rayquaza build well it's looking very similar like a Rayquaza build we have the uh, uh, grass energy we have the lightning energy etc but we're not running fighting energies in this list and this list they are uh, deciding a Rayquaza is not the way to go and they opted to go for a Zamazenta Zamazenta with the Retaliate being able to slap 220 if a Pokemon got knocked out during the opponent's last turn. You also have sniping capabilities with Raikou. Two copies of Raikou even in this list. So with three Ordinary Rod, you're going to be able to reutilize Raikou time and time again. And the cool thing is that uh, if you hit into a Lugia V-Star, it actually puts more damage on the field if they don't run Dunspar. So that's going to be 240 on the active and 120 on the bench, which means Sableye can then spread until its heart is contented with the Lost Mine. So with the help of four scoop up net, three escape rope, and two switch cards, and an air balloon, you're gonna be circling around your com face uh, faster than uh, anything you've ever seen before, and that's gonna help you out a ton. This this also has uh, running two bosses orders. Uh, that's uh, is not typical. Typically you would see in lost boxes one copy, but I understand the fact that with flower selecting, sometimes these uh, are gonna go to the lost zone, and then, then you don't have a gusting capability. So with boss, that's gonna help out to gust up that mana feed, knock that out, because you actually want to utilize Raikou definitely against Lugia and Lost Box Mirrors as well so Raikou is one of your main attackers in this list. Uh, cool thing is that uh, you are not able to snipe with Greninja but it's helping you to of course draw cards and with Radiant Greninja drawing cards with Flower Selecting and Colors Experiment you're gonna be of course getting your combo. Another cool thing to note here is that they're running the Temple of Sinnoh that means if Lugia players are playing the Wash Energy to protect their Manaphy, that's no longer going to be a thing. So they actually were targeting down Manaphy quite heftily and also helps out Wonders against surprising Ice Q. So uh, if Ice Q has that Wash Water Energy, you can just surprise them, slap down Temple of Sinnoh and then spread 12 damage counters and never see the face of the Ice Q again. So super cool list, got first place. Moving forward, the second place is Yoko Wong, which is from Indonesia, making it all the way to the regionals uh, in Perth here. And this is a Lost Zone box that actually is utilizing Zacian V-Star. I know, seems funky. Zacian was busted during the Sword and Shield days, but now has been uh, yeah in the shadows a long time uh, since V-Stars have uh, lifted to the format. But yeah, we do see Zacian with Intrepid Sword. And the cool thing is, with Intrepid Sword, with of course the Comfy Engine that I already explained with Colorist Experiment, Scoop Up That Comfy, etc and the help of Pokestop and Intrepid Sword, you're going to be flying through your deck like nothing you've ever seen before and that could help you out to of course get to that win condition of using Kyogre with the Aquastorm 
to of course KO uh, multiple Pokemon on the opponent's side of the field. Uh, it's gonna be uh, if you have five energies, you discard with Aqua Storm. Two fifty to two Pokemon on the bench, super great for sure. This list has, however, a lot of one-offs. Uh, we do see Hisuian Heavy Ball, but with uh, only two Ordinary Rods here, it's sometimes going to be difficult to reutilize the Cramorant, reutilize uh, something like a Zamazenta or Sableye. So lots of one-offs at a sp specific point in time. Also, I, I would love to see a Torton in here, to Torton into Zamazation V-Star to go for that uh, amazing V-Star attack to slap 310 out of nowhere. We do see Bird Keeper here as an additional way to circle around your comp phase. And uh, other than that, it's very similar. So with two Energy Recyclers, you're going to be, of course, getting to that point in time where Aqua Storm is taking a lot of prize cards. And uh, Energy Recyclers are also necessary because uh, Zamazenta as well as Zacian needs uh, at least three energies to start swinging. So th those do eat up a lot of energies. I do love the fact that Echoing Horn is here. Helps out with Sableye to take uh, some cheeky prize cards, but also helps out with the Kyogre spread. And uh, the cool thing is that with this list, you can use as well Moonlight Shuriken with uh, the Radiant Greninja as well as use Ky Kyogre. So lots of snipe indeed. Then Lugia, of course, was also part of the uh, top eight. We have Jeremy Evans uh, from Australia with Lugia. Let's see what the Lugia deck has been cooking up, cooking up with here. So we have Lugia V Star with uh, just the classic attackers: Evelta, Charizard, Stoutland. Two uh, Luminion in here, uh, as well as the Irida package. So with Irida, you can get your one-off Choice Bell, Lost Vacuum, or maybe even find Evolution and Sense or Ultra Ball. So Irida, I love the Irida in here. Could grab uh, Luminion and something else. Could grab Manaphy and something else. It's going to be super great. We also see that it is running Snorlax. Snorlax is a way you can have uh, your answer against uh, Control because with his uh, unfaced fat, it could be very annoying for the opponent to discard those uh, energies on the Snorlax. There's also Bird Keeper for Paralysis. So this list is pretty much unified to have answers against all the anti Lugia decks out there. Except for the fact that I didn't see Cologne in there. So even if you're playing Irida, uh, they opted to say like, uh, I'll, I'll play Bird Keeper over, of course, the Cologne. So if you want to have like a little bit of a better answer for uh, the Aerodactyls of the world or Weezings, you could use the Cologne in there. Then we have Arcdura with Jake Lazari making its way to the top four with Arcdura. Let's see what this Arcdura is packing with. This is very similar to my top 64 list of the Liverpool regionals. Uh, we do uh, see the Lost Cities. I also was playing an additional copy of um, the Temple of Sinnoh. This list is running a Choice Belt, however. So uh, with the Choice Belt uh, and the additional Poke Gear, so more consistency, all, pretty much all the rest is the same except for this switch is uh, there's two switches instead of a switch and an escape rope. I did I was a huge fan of escape rope in Arcdura, but Arcdura with the skyscraper ability is still doing wonders. And uh, with the four boss and the four bulky gear, you just slap some Archeops before they're able to accelerate those energies to the pesky uh, amazing rare Eveltal. Then two Lugias made us uh, two Lugias two uh, Vikavolt made his way into the top eight. Natalie Middle and Christian has buy. I don't know if they are the exact same list. Let's check them out. No, they are different, so let's check them out. Natalie Mir Miller's her list. Let's see here. Uh, Vikavold with Path to the Peak. This is very similar to uh, the list that um, was popularized by the senior division in the tournament before it. So we do see Sky Seal Stone taking an additional prize card. is great. You can utilize that with Raikou, Vikavold, Drapion. So uh, it does make sense in here. And uh, the Forest Seal Stone. You want to just, against Lugia, slap down Path and then use Item Block. And because of the fact they're not able to play a Lost Vacuum because they're in an item lock and they're not able to uh, use Quick Ball and Ultra Ball because they're in an uh, item lock. They're not going to be able to, of course, bump this, the pad and that's how you win games. You can also cheese them out and uh, donk them with Raikou, which a lot of people have done before. You have Cross Switchers and the Baby Mew engine, which helps out a ton. That means you can uh, actually use Melanie and Cross Switcher in the same turn, which is super cool. Gusting and Energy Acceleration is busted and uh, with the help of Zigzagoon, you're going to be able to use like Paralyzing Bolt for 60 with the help of Zapdos and then finish off multiple Comfies at once with Zigzagoon, definitely with the 4 scoop up nap. So a very unified list, instead of going for Aerodactyl, it is this, uh, the Path to the Peak package, which we all uh, have seen by now. So uh, also my good uh, teammate uh, Jordi actually was able to get a top 64 as well uh, during the um, last regional, so that's super cool to see. Okay. Moving forward, uh, there is another Vikavol. Let's see here which one uh, this is. This is very similar to the one we've seen. This is a cutting down one tracking shoe. It's also, I don't know if this Nat Natalie Miller it was playing Judge, by the way. 
I'm a huge fan of Judge. I don't think they I've seen Judge here. No, no Judge in that hand. I love Disruption in that sense because of the fact you can, if the opponent has Lugia and they use Read the Wind a couple of times, you want to, of course, make sure their hand is empty again, or actually lower down uh, Judge and Path. I think this build is more to my liking, to be honest. Cape of Toughness also protects yourself from two slaps with the Cramorant, which I didn't uh, mention in the previous list, but uh, all the rest uh, seems pretty similar. Uh, just pat, Sky Seal Stone, Forest Seal Stone, and just item lock the opponent. It's a, a lot of fun. Try these lists out yourself. Vika Vault is still great in today's format with Lugia running rampant. Then we have Corey Monroe with uh, the Lugia. Let's see what this Lugia has to offer. Uh, a lot of people are respecting uh, the Lightning Pokemon in the format right now. So Dunsparce comes back in the list. We have Charizard, Evelto. This time it is running Raikou. Amazing rare Raikou and the additional speed lighting energy. So you can attack with Raikou as well as Evelto and vice versa. So Having the Snorlax, having the Irida, uh, no Bird Keeper, but they do run the Escape Probe, so that is also a way you can have yourself an edge against Paralysis deck. So Irida could fetch Escape Probe with that Luminion, Irida Escape Probe. It's this, pretty much the same thing as Luminion Bird Keeper in most situations. So uh, yeah, not a lot to say. It is Lugia. It is still here to stay and it, it is still running rampant because all of these attackers are so strong. Stylin taking additional prize card, Charizard low maintenance, high power, Evelto one hit KO machine, Raikou to spread damage between two targets, super strong for sure. And then um, Cory uh, Olery uh, is playing a, a lost box and uh, this is the exact same list that Azul actually utilized during the uh, internationals in Melbourne. So yeah. Exact 60 of Azul, uh, it is doing wonders. It is a strong list. Azul was talking about adding in Raikou, uh, Raikou V, to of course make more use of the Sky Seal Stone. So uh, which card you want to cut is uh, entirely up to you. But uh, there's already a lot of switch cards in here. So maybe like cutting down on one switch card couldn't, couldn't be the worst. Or maybe cutting down on the Cramorant because you do run two ordinary rods could be a thing as well. So yeah, the exact 60, we talked about this. We played this uh, on, the, on the YouTube channel before. So check that video out. Let me know in the comments how you feel about the top eight right now. Are you sick and tired of Lugia? I want to hear your opinions down below in the comments. We didn't see uh, any Gudras there. We didn't see any Regis there. So... Uh, also, now that I think about it, Mew Max also seems to be uh, surprisingly uh, empty from this top 8. So, what, that, what does it mean for the future? We'll have to figure it out together because there is another regionals this weekend. And I'm looking forward to, to the results. Have yourself a fantastic rest of your day. And I will see you guys tomorrow for more Pokemon TCG Epicness. Thank you for watching. See you then. Peace.